Looking at almost a, it looks like a Christmas tree of Ryobi. That lovely shade of lime green here. So what do we have? We got this Ryobi six tool combo kit, which Home Depot swears is a fantastic deal, people. Okay, so it's $199 here. And so what do we have in there? We have the half inch two speed drill driver. We have the impact driver, which goes up to 1800 inch pounds of torque. We have the recip saw, which they say is over 60% faster than cutting. It's got the five and a half inch cirque saw right there as well. And of course, you know me, I don't always like to, but they, they seem to always count the flashlight as the tool. Hey there, what's up everybody? Hey Rowan. I see Wilson works just checking and Ernie. How do you always do it, man? Ernie shows up first a lot. Always seems to do that. Catches it right in time there. What's up, Conaman? Glad to see you with us again today. So, yeah, they just put this stack here in the middle of the floor here. And BW says, happy Saturday from work. All right. Oh, and then, yeah, Milton says, thanks for the gunmetal advice. Yeah, I was just at our Lowe's today and uh, trying to see if there was any more gunmetals hidden, but there weren't any. That one that I reported from Tuesday down in Davie, I scored uh, one unit there. It was the last one in the store. So anyway, what they did here, this was the tool zone. Remember, they had all the gifts and the tools and everything in here before. And they're down to kind of just the last little bit of it here. And I'm still hoping that they'll lower the price on, on this guy here. I don't think they are. I mean, I guess $99 with a battery is probably as good as we're ever going to see this. I don't remember if we've ever seen it any lower, like on a deal of the day or anything like that, special buy of the day from Home Depot. If anybody knows, let me let us know in the comments, guys, if you've seen this any cheaper than $99, you know. Where is Shaka? Ryubi is trash. Yeah, Christopher, that, that is a good question. Where is Shaka? Shocking Shaka. Uh, let's see. They have the tool blade set is down to $29.88, but there's none left here right now. They got a bunch of these little guys here. The CP 2.0s, because if you buy the multi-tool for $149, which is the tool only, the fuel version of it right here, the M12 fuel version. So that one's at 149 and then you'll get this free dude with it. So they still have a bunch of those here. And Novice Nick says $84 for the kit. Really? This one here, you paid $84? Uh, was it recent or maybe... I'm wondering if some of the stores are marking them down yet. I'm, I'm really hoping that this will end up back there and by the way see sometimes you have to look in the nooks and crannies so we're like way back behind this display here this is that one here with the 28 pieces and i believe it's still probably 99 dollars and uh is that the same one yeah it is that's the same kit i don't see any more of the one that we bought like the day before black friday with the whole the whole dozer kit i like that one. Oh, do i like that one Okay, so let me just show you what they've done here. They've added a few of the, the lawnmowers. And I wanted to give you guys a warning about this one, this DeWalt. What's up, Gene? Hey, Gene, while you're on the air, I wanted to have you take a look at this because this was a pretty good, I think, a screwdriver deal that we were talking about, you know, the electric drill driver. These are the M12, so they're going to be really compact. But here you get the drill driver and you get the impact driver. And it's got two of the batteries in it, two of the M12 batteries, the CP 1.5s. And the whole thing's 119 bucks. I think this is a screaming deal. Now, it's brushed. It's not a brushless drill. But, you know, for simple homeowner DIY stuff, I think this would be a great kit to get. To have both of these. And then uh, you get the bag. You get the charger. You get two batteries. So 119 is what they're is what they're asking for this guy right here. And I think Chaka Gillis just checked in and he, with a $2 super chat. And Chaka says, Ryobi's trash. Sorry, but it's no good garbage. Oh, so it's trash and garbage. There's a difference. So look at this. Look, at, look, Chaka. They built this in your honor, brother, right there. The whole shrine right there, all the way up. It goes all the way up. It's taller than me, even. Look. From where I'm standing, I can come in and shoot on. It actually looks like I'm... This looks like a scene out of Star Wars, doesn't it? As we pan back from the Death Star. So there you go. All right. So what I wanted to tell you guys about this DeWalt 
If you remember a few weeks ago, I showed you at the other Home Depot store where it was really bad signal and blocky video and all that. I showed you this DeWalt. Now that's funny, they call it the 20 volt max brushless XR, blah, 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 but it really takes 40 volts to run it. You gotta run two of these 20 volt batteries, but it does come with two chargers. But the thing I wanted to warn you about, guys, with this, <clears throat> don't make the mistake and buy the wrong DeWalt mower. Because if you look closely, <clears throat> you're standing right here looking at this in the store going, oh, I gotta have it, let's put it on the cart, let's take it home. What's wrong with this right now as you look at it? Is there anybody, <clears throat> does anybody here see what is wrong if you look closely and you and you pass all of the text and it goes right by you and you stop speed reading for just one moment and you go uh oh cordless push mower that one word right there should be flagging you down going wee, 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 push push this is a push mower this is not a self-propelled so from visiting like four different home depots over the past month folks um this mower is the only one that i'm seeing in all of the home depots now there is the other one and i want you to take a look at the model number so if you enter this model number here it'll bring up this mower but the other model number is 220 i don't know if that's still like their current latest greatest one or what but you want to make sure that if you were if you wanted to get the self-propelled version of this mower that you're getting the right model number and you're looking at it now interesting it said that my other home depot had three in stock but when i went over there there were none they were the three that they had were this these three here see so but anyway <clears throat> this will show up online as 4.99 but it's 3.99 here in the store so i don't know why they don't indicate that it's on sale or anything so let me see if we got any other comments questions in there Check if your store has the M18 Gen 3 impact driver with the pack out for 179. Yeah, there might I think there was one left over there the other day. We'll have to see. And Jeff, last year Plater came in with the M12 charger and it was 109 last year. Okay. Let me get this thing back here. Uh so yeah, we're back in my regular normal Home Depot today where the signal is hopefully better than it was at that Lowe's the other day down in Davie. Holy cow, I will never go back to that Lowe's again unless I have a 5G phone. Um, the town of Davie is notorious for really messing with the, uh, anybody dealing with permits and, and cell towers and stuff. Okay, so this, this Ryobi mower here was actually, even though it says 449, this was actually like 399, I think a couple of months ago. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Okay. So their normal price is $4.99 for the uh, self-propelled, and it's on sale right now for $4.49. DeWalt's normal price for the self-propelled version of this guy is going to be $5.99, but it's showing up, I think, as $4.99, like on some of the websites, so I don't know. Um, what I do like about this, however, is this right here, the vertical storage. Because in my garage, storage space is at a premium, right? Um, and so, yeah, we still have... Remember, all of these buy one, get ones, they run until the 31st. So if you come over here and you look at the text, it says right there. So remember, they still have some stuff left. And they get some of the, the better ones too. Like, I'm surprised we still have jigsaws here and all that. So let's see if they have that pack out thing here. I don't see it. And let's see what pricing we have on these 1600. So yeah, they got these at $99 right now. These are the 1600 PSI. These are the electric ones. These are, this one's like the lightweight portable one, see? So it's like this. And 1600 PSI, you could probably use this uh, to wash your, your car with too because some of the soap cannons not the soap guns the soap cannons that require a pressure washer this is right in the middle of that range that they like to see if you're going to use a soap cannon on your car and then um, looks like we're going to be getting these back in stock now we were using this the other day because I own one of these and our trigger got stuck so you know how you pull the trigger in like this Mine got stuck in like that and it's not coming back out. So I'm probably gonna have to like 
take it apart down here and see what's going on, see if something got caught. Like maybe it, maybe it missed the spring or I don't know what happened, but yeah, this is pretty decent for washing a car. And that's what we were using it for. I, I, I put on my own connector on here and made it a quick disconnect to connect onto our regular hose and everything. So yeah, it, it was a decent machine until, it, until the trigger just poof, got stuck on it there. So let's we'll see how that, that thing, if we can get it fixed. So let's see, Cobalt has a folding mower, yeah. And Nerdy says, you are fueling Shaka with the broken trigger. I know. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, we'll have to see. Hey, look, every every tool has problems. Milwaukee's had problems, right, with the collet on some of their their drills. Uh, Vince over at VCG, they, they don't seem to like the impact driver that I own, that I love so much, the DCD887. Now, a lot of people say that thing caught fire. It didn't catch fire. It, it smoked. So there's that lubrication they have in there that when it got hot enough, it smoked. So apparently the circuit didn't shut things down in time, but I've never seen mine smoke ever. Not, not once. All right, so we have here the 10-inch sliding compound miter saw is 179 down from 219. Well, I don't know, Shaka. I mean, like I said, mine has never caught fire or smoked or anything. And I use it pretty hard. I mean, I'm going into concrete with tap cons and never had a problem. So I wonder if these are really going to be 348 or if they're going to be less. I don't know if they're gearing up for like a Q1 seal on these or if these are going to be a good price. So I would hold off on these right now if you were thinking of getting one. Just kind of wait and watch and see if anything happens in the next week or two. Because remember, things like this started happening at Black Friday too. They start bringing stock out, and then all of a sudden, boom, one day it just clicks onto a better price there. John Q says, what is the best drill to buy? You know, anything, any of the brushless ones from the, the XR brand, a you know, model from um, DeWalt, or any of the fuels from Milwaukee. And you can choose your poison on the Milwaukee if you want the M12s, which are smaller. Like, like these here that I was showing our buddy Gene a while ago, a few minutes back. See, these are really small, but and uh, they hold those small M12 batteries. My only problem is I'm sick of the M12 platform because the batteries are hard to pull out of certain tools. These, I think, they come out okay. I cannot for the life of me get them to come out of the, uh, the M12 rocket light. So I'm in the middle of filming that tool review video on that right now, that M12 uh, rocket light. And we're just having a heck of a time getting the, the M12 battery to come out of that. Sometimes I have to use my channel locks to yank them. Here's the Scott's new edge guard. These look smaller than the one I have, which mine's probably about a five-year-old edge guard. These are 36 bucks. So that'd be uh, nice to get kind of a smaller, more compact one. And these are new here. These are the exclusive 60-volt, 16-inch brushless chainsaw with two and a half amp hour battery from Toro. Torrid Toro. So Milton says, do you know of the best deal on a metal pegboard for a bench? I don't, but I'm actually sort of in the market of kind of beginning the research for buying like a whole garage suite, you know, with all the cabinets and everything. And see if Costco has one. I thought that maybe they have one. And if you guys haven't seen Pan the Organizer, if you've seen his website, Go look at his videos. He has a nice one in the background when he does all his videos in the garage with that pegboard behind him. Pan the Organizer, one of the best detailers out there. And he's always reviewing products, kind of like what we do on our car buying trip site. And uh, so let's see, is it, are these both the same? Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the uh, chainsaw. And then this one's the trimmer for 169 also from Toro, 60 volts. And let me see, do these, charger included, yes. So with both of these, you get charger, and I'm assuming the battery is in there as well. Because why would you put a charger and then not a battery? <laughs> and a 24 inch cordless hedge trimmer, 199. So Brad says, I can't believe they let you broadcast from the, yeah, um, they haven't really stopped me recently. There's a store over in Coral Springs that last year kind of stopped me, but it, you know it, it didn't bother me that much because the the signal over there is just so horrific that I, you can't even get a decent signal out of there anyway. <clears throat> Do we still have 
but yeah, we still have these rigids. Uh, these smaller ones I kind of like. I have like the four and a half horsepower version of this guy, the peak horsepower. Which see, these are three and a half. All of these are three and a halfs. But let me see. None of these tags are right though. These are off of the six gallon. So I don't know what they've dropped these. If they've dropped in price at all. Yeah, they're the HDO six hundred. So a lot of times they'll they'll start sticking stuff down here, and you, they won't get the prices right. They get the wrong price tags. Um, do we still have? Yeah, we got one of the the vacs here left. These were selling like hotcakes back in November. You couldn't even get these. I guess everybody's done buying the Christmas gifts. So, yeah, you still got one there. All right, now I want to show you. Did they knock? I don't know if they had. That was the same deal that we had just looked at over here. We come right around this side. And. Yeah, so here's the, the bigger one, the M18 fuel so this one we've dropped the price down to 140 there's your model number and all that and cool tools from the uk he says evening jeff and everyone in the chat from a locked down uk still locked down i found out the source of of where your covid's coming from in the uk it, it came from um the prime minister's hairdo man <laughs> that guy's got a wild hair. He's he's trying to compete with Trump on the hair, man, for sure. That's where it came from. So there's the model number of this recip saw. And let's see. No battery on this one, I don't think. I think it's just the tool. Yeah, it says it right there. Tool only. So anyway, you're getting a $60 break. That's actually a pretty decent price break for this. And you know what? You can still use your 10% off Lowe's coupon like I've been showing you guys for years. We pull out my old raggedy Red Sox wallet here. I got to get a new one, man. This thing's starting to tear up. Let me see. Do I have any in here? I'll tell you what I do have. Somebody gave me a $50 gift card for Christmas. My brother-in-law gave me a $300 Home Depot card. So I'll be getting that, that FlexVault saw soon, the table saw. Here we go. See these guys you can use these guys on it and get another 10 percent off and if you haven't seen that video on how to get these and how to use them i'll put a link to it in the description when we get back home so there's this deal and then we have the ryobi three inch ratchet now you saw our video where we compared this one to the milwaukee so this one's 79 tool only but if you can get it like this they have in the kit so this one's that special buy kit, and it's probably still 89. I would check it. I haven't scanned this one in yet, but this one comes with the battery, and I believe the little charger. Wait, let me make sure this is not the tool only version. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. So this one has the the little charger and the 1.5 amp hour battery. So that's a great deal to get that kit for 89. I just haven't, I haven't scanned these recently to see if they've dropped at all, but you definitely want to check that. And Nerdy says, that is a Costanza wallet, George Costanza. Oh man, and we have the, they finally have a display spot for this laser. I bought this about, I don't know, a month and a half ago. I'm still working. I got to do a uh, tool review video on this. We're remodeling a friend's kitchen and putting in our cabinets in about two weeks. So we'll be able to put this thing to use there and have some good video from that. That's going to be a great project. And if anybody was looking, you know, they're always asking us who makes a good, who makes a good uh, wireless brad nailer. I can't turn this around because they got them all netted together. But here's Milwaukee's version right here, the 18 gauge brad nailer. So this one is part of that sale that's 279. This is the last one here. Most stores that I go into either have zero or one. But they say from what I've all the comments I've gotten from people is that this Milwaukee brad nailer is better than the than the uh, DeWalt wireless or not wireless the, the DeWalt cordless brad, brad nailer. And the reason is that the DeWalt one has this kind of a, a flywheel wind up thing that it goes before it shoots the the brad nail whereas this one just shoots shoots the brad nail right in 
So that's the, the commentary that I've heard from most people. Oh, and Frank bought it with the Milwaukee bread and ale with a hack yesterday. So you got this with the, well, this is the 12, but it comes with the 8 amp hour version of that battery for free, right? So you bought this and you returned the battery. And how much did you end up paying for this with that hack? That, that's a good hack to do. Although, you know, yeah, I don't know how long these last on the battery. So I don't even know if you even really need that big old 8 amp hour battery. That's a big old HO. And they're heavy, man. I tell you that. Those things are heavy. I'd rather, if I'm, a, I don't know how many uh, shots you can get out of like a small, get one of their smaller batteries, but that's what I'd be shooting for. All right. So, let's see. Anything else here? Here's that other pack out here. The quarter inch impact driver here with the pack out. It's 179. So, if I see them drop the price on this, if they put this back on that clearance counter sometime soon, I might get in there and uh, snag it if they, you know, lower the price a little further. But I'd love to do that one as a tool giveaway. All right, so I want to come down and show you. There's a couple of light deals going on. And then they put up a new Milwaukee display in the back that I wanted to show you in a second. But, okay, so we got... You got the Rover here, the M18 version of the Rover. And it's down to 136 here. And then there's the model. Okay, now if you look here, the M12, this is the M12 rocket light that I told you I'm in the middle of doing the tool review video right now on this one. So I bought it last summer for 169 and it came with, uh, you got the two batteries that are the XC 4.0s and then you get the light for free, right? So now the deal that they have on this is it's normally 169 for this light and it's running at 129 right now, so $40 off. So that's another way you could uh, buy it now. I still think, I still like getting the battery deals myself. Um, but what we are finding right now as we're testing these is I would not recommend using these with any battery less than an XC 4.0. So I like the 4.0 and the 6.0. The 4.0 battery, I believe, is lasting about three hours. And the 6.0 is lasting about four hours. And that's about the most I can squeeze out of any of my batteries that I have. So just so you know, if you ever buy these, it's, and it's because of the tiny batteries, you know, it's a great compact light, but tiny batteries. But you better have some batteries with you if, if you expect to use this throughout the whole workday. I'm talking a good three or four XC 4.0s or a good three or four XC 6.0s. So that's the, the only caveat about that light that you need to be aware of. But it's such a great uh, light. It, it's very uh, easy to carry, very light to carry. Here's the other display that they're setting up here. So it looks like this is a, Q, a Q1 deal that's coming up. So it's going to start on February 1st. So what they're going to do here is they're, gonna, they're doing a change up on this deal. If you buy the light right now for the normal price of $169, they're going to give you a free... 6.0 xc6 remember i told you that's the minimum you know that and the four are the two minimum batteries that you want to have with that and i was trying to bring up the comments but oh there we go it finally came back it was stuck for a while there so if any of you guys have found the same thing going on with this light that i did with the batteries let me know but yeah you're gonna have to have a lot of those batteries so matthew says jeff do you think that the dewalt wet dry back over at Lowe's price, oh yeah, we'll drop. Yeah, it's at 79 right now over there. And I, every time I go in and I look, I look, I don't know. It might go to 69, we just never know. Sometimes they just disappear too. Sometimes people are following it for a long enough time and they go, ah, it's not gonna get you lower, let me buy it. So yeah, and I'm watching the one at Costco too and it hasn't dropped. I'm really miffed about that because that's the one I wanna get because it's the stainless steel one over at Costco. I think it's 89 or 90, yeah, 89 in the stores. And I was hoping that one would drop down to 69. Okay, so all they did here was, I think this is like a, a, a somewhat newer atomic display that they set up here. But it's really the same tools that were just up in the tool zone. There's nothing different here. No pricing difference. Um, these guys are all still 99. And I like, you know, I like these for the D the only thing I don't like, guys, is the batteries that come in this. These are those cheapy little 
1.3 amp hour batteries and I think this was the one that it was like it's so small the battery is so small they're too embarrassed to print on the box what it is but the reason why I don't like those 1.3 amp hour batteries is because there's no battery gauge on them and I always want to know how much charge I have on a battery when I pick it up because we have batteries all over the place this guy has, let me just show you where we are we are at clearance so this guy and we still have one of these left in the store this is still a good deal guys if you haven't gotten around to, to getting this yet because I don't know if these are going to go any lower than this they dropped it from 169 that was the Black Friday price and it's down to 139 right now but you know you're, you're talking two of these guys here this one has the 16 gauge and the 23 gauge uh, the 23 gauge is not as popular with a lot of people they per per most people would prefer the 16 with the 18. there was a second kit on the display over there too that had that particular deal but anyway no matter which one you whichever kit you go with the 139 is a pretty decent price there so anyway yeah so this is that impact wrench and i was trying to find out what the torque is on it but they put the sticker right over it dudes there's no way we can figure it out now so unless somebody knows so this is the kit number right here 2754-20 and so it's down pretty good price here here's your screen number there and that's an m12 and let me see i don't think that's a fuel yeah it is a fuel yep so you got a nice little brushless m12 torque wrench there but i just don't know what the what the torque is on that guy there so let's see 210 pounds of foot torque yeah so this would probably for most of us loosen the lug nuts because like 100 to 120 is typically what we see on most cars i don't even know what it is on mine i gotta find out i've just done the uh up until now i've just done the jeff estimate method <laughs> how many of you do the estimate method yeah that feels like about 120. uh so so here they're stocking up a bunch more of these huskies right this is the 30 inch 10 drawer chest and cabinet combo it says 598 but i'm, I'm telling you guys i think something's going to happen in the next few weeks maybe it starts february 1st like that other one that we just showed you with the milwaukee over there so who knows i think we're just getting an advanced look at some of these yeah, that's right we don't have those angry green turtles here at depot those are only limited to uh lows and don't forget guys you know they still have some pretty good deals here on the makita if you remember the makita video we uploaded probably about i don't know maybe earlier last month because it's part of that whole you know the black friday the tool deals and stuff and we did a whole video on it and we showed you this one with this brushless um is that the let me see is that six inch seven inch I figured, no, seven and a quarter. And so this whole kit right here, man, this thing comes in a massive box for a, for just a circular saw. But yeah, this one already, yeah, it has the carrier, it's got the battery, okay. But they were running that deal right now that if you buy it right now at 249, you're getting the two batteries free. Now we might be out of the batteries here, unless they're up front. Sometimes they keep stuff up front in cages or the cashier has to go get it for you but the not only was that a, a great deal because you're getting the two free batteries on this but just remember they also lowered the price of the kit by a hundred dollars and we showed you this this was in that, that video we put up a month ago nothing surprising there about that okay let me see what else we've got any other questions that came in Okay, so we'll head back over here. So that's interesting with these, uh, the Milwaukee light kit. So if this starts on two, on February 1st, I have a feeling that that other M12 deal that I just showed you for 129 is going to go away at that time. So if you're, if you're making a decision now, you have to decide, hey, which way do I go? Do I get the light for 129 right now, or do I wait until February 1st where I can get for $40 more 
I get a XC 6.0. Now I forget how much those are. I forget if those are like 99 bucks on their own, you know. So yeah, Frank says number one thing. Jeff is watching us for the mats to drop. Yep, I was just over there before I came in here. I was ready to broadcast live if there was any change on it, but there wasn't. The only thing I did was I posted on my community tab that those Cobalt 20-piece ratcheting wrenches are down to 34.99 now from 49.99. Now, some of you have already reported that it has already been that price in your store, but they just lowered it to that price in our store. And those of you guys still interested in getting those AWP, all of those closeouts that they're doing over at Lowe's, that AWP brand with the, um, well, the backpacks are sold out, but they have all of those tool bags, the tool belts, the, the things that go around the buckets with the tools, you know. And they just lowered them again from last week. Last week, a lot of the things I was buying were that were like $30 before, and I was buying them for 11 and 7 Now they're like $3 and $4. They are practically... It's at the point now where, where you're going to walk out of there crying from guilt because <laughs> it's so low, you know? Any lower, and they'll have to pay us to take them. Okay, and then I noticed that the packout... Let me come right over here. The packout is back up to 249 here. And we didn't even have these two towers here the other day, so... I don't know what's going on. So 249 is kind of that mid price. This is that mid range price between the 199 that we normally see at Black Friday and the 279, what I, which I call the fool's price. The fool's price that they listed at throughout the year that anybody would be a fool to pay 279 when you can get it, uh, you know, 199 at Black Friday. That's why I always try to plan anything like these is any is like right around Black Friday. Unless some kind of glitch happens during the year or something like that. Like that that one glitch that Vince showed us was pretty good. He got his for 109 The glitch expired right as I came in to get mine. But they gave me a $50 discount anyway. Which they have leeway to do. Some of the employees here. And so I walked out of there for 124 with it. Okay, so I'm still keeping my eye on this to see if it comes back to 699 Because they did run that special that ended at Black Friday where they had this flexible miter saw here for $6.99. Yeah. And Eugene says, the Milwaukee new ratchets next month will drop the price of the old ones. Yep. Koneman says, Jeff, the wait, wait, the AWP in, in Tampa is also about, except you have one or two items a person bought them all out. Yeah. Well, what happened at my store, one of the one of the um, employees at Lowe's came over and grabbed me and says, Hey, you're the, you're the YouTube guy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, come here, come here, let me show you this. And he, he shows me this whole rack that just got restocked because they're starting to kind of go up top and find all the stuff up top that they don't need anymore or stuff that they're, they need to clear out. And so they just filled that whole rack at my store. And I was up at the Boca store last week, the Boca Raton store at the Home Depot had all, um, not, not the Home Depot, the Lowe's, and they had a whole bunch of those AWPs. So we're giving some away this month and we're giving some away next month. We got so many guys that we're able to do two months worth of giveaways with some of those, in addition to all of those other tools you've seen me buy so far this month, like the the uh, gunmetal sets at Lowe's. All right, so none of these are, actually, look at this. They've, uh, yeah, so we, they have like some of the stickers and stuff along that thing here, but they're, they're kind of moving them, getting getting rid of them. And the rigid, the table saw is still at 349, but there is there hasn't been anything in stock here in about two weeks. <clears throat> so there you have it. And I think that's pretty much it for this store for today. There's not a whole lot. Let me see if there's any other questions coming out here. Um so rem remember guys, if you haven't seen our video on that gunmetal set and you want to get it. We put up that video last week that shows you how to get that gunmetal set from Lowe's, how to find it, how to convince the managers to price match, because some of the stores are still showing it at $79, you know, and how to find it. And sometimes you can find it mixed in with the chrome set. And I showed you how to identify easily the set from even looking way up top from 100 feet away, you know, like if, look up behind me, you know. If you were over at Lowe's and you had to look up high, you know, how would you identify it? That sort of thing. So anyway, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in this afternoon. We're glad to have all of you here with us. And if you didn't get your question answered, hey, make sure you leave it in the comments below, down below there, when uh, and I'll answer them when I get home. 
And Jeff the title says 2001. I know. Fat fingered. I always correct all the mistakes when I get home. So, anyway, guys, you guys have a great one. Have a great weekend. And uh, you know, we got off to a bumpy start in 2021 here. I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm already suggesting we go right into 2023. <laughs> I'm gonna put my Christmas lights back up. All right, guys, have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao.